Now here's something a bit different. 35mm motion picture projector and it's been identified by Nick Hiley thank you Nick as a patented CAM that's K-A-M-M the yeah, CAM of London machine it's beta movement it has what appear to be correct arms um, although they're a different colour the rails for the stand which I like to see because mostly that's gone and a lantern and this bit now uh, there's also an electric motor which is fun so what's original what isn't what do we need to do um, the mechanism belongs on the original base or top of the stand I'm pretty convinced that this section from here definitely belongs with the machine the lantern not totally sure it seems to have had some adaptation work as a plate there but it's period or even earlier maybe it's got a small ish is that a four inch condenser which maybe suggests it was primarily intended for film rather than primarily for slides the sharper of our viewers with specialist knowledge might have spotted that there's a bit of a problem with the top which has been bashed here at some point on the cowl and that's led to the semi-collapse of the domed top so I shall be testing out my previously almost untested panel beta skills um, probably turning this upside down when it's off of the base and maybe with the sandbox underneath um, trying to hammer but of course like, the striking of the hammer has to be within this limited area is that going to work don't know so what's inside here the usual later projection lamp or theatre spot lamp that condenser looks alright I don't think it's cracked can't see properly but seems to be okay I'm sure it'll be all right and uh, a stand for that lamp and reflector on the back there would have been here and here a wire coming out to hold the back curtain obviously that can be dealt with no drawer on the other side and this is well rusted for the base section clearly a patented mechanism as you can see What could well be the original shutter, which is certainly not always the case with these old machines. There is no lens. Someone's had the lens away, but that's okay. I've got something suitable, I'm sure, where I can get something. Also, while we're talking about lenses, this piece here, which is of great interest for other reasons, but immediately we can see that there are two nut and bolt arrangement here and these nuts were extremely loose suggesting to me that the ring that would have held the lantern slide lens uh, has recently been removed so whoever whipped the projection lens probably took the lantern slide lens 
as well. That's a bit of a shame, but actually, I can deal with that. I can get something suitable to go there if I decide to do that. Now, a long time after this arrived yesterday, I discovered all of this. Dates to do with patents. Confirms it as a cam, of course. And uh, more about all of that later. The mechanism actually turns over really nicely. Which, considering the amount of rust on some parts, as we can see, somewhat surprising. Kind of interesting. The thing I don't ever understand about these things is when you've got lacquer on brass parts, of course, you know, that's quite often survived. And then the other brass parts, where there was no lacquer, have gone this sort of pale chocolate brown, ready brown colour. All, you know, oxidised. All understood. See, so you had lacquer here, so it still looks like brass. But the brass gears don't oxidise in the same way. Unless someone's been cleaning them up, which must have happened within the last 20 or 30 years, which is not impossible, but you often see that, kind of interesting, to me anyway, probably to nobody else. Back to the shutter, and there's a level of adjustment for the exact timing of the two apertures. The feed arm has a uh, chain sprocket, as does, more importantly, the take-up arm, uh, which goes to a chain sprocket there. So we're going to need a bike chain at some point. The arms, now come on Nick, you need to explain this to me. They They definitely seem, you know, it's quite an interesting little thing here to put pressure on so it stays in the right position and there's a little depression here to make sure that that happens. So, you know, they look like they're the right thing. But there's no green paint under this black and I don't think the mechanism has been painted green. I think that's original. And if it is, if it has been painted green, why didn't they paint the arms at the same time? I don't know, seems a bit odd, maybe maybe when it was supplied they just had some black arms from a different model or... There we are. Similarly with the lamp house, it wasn't always necessary to buy the lamp house that was uh, suggested, provided by the mechanism supplier. So cams may have given an option of not having a lamp house and the original purchaser had a lamp house, so this is original, but possibly not supplied by CAM, or perhaps it was. A little bit more investigation, we might find out. 